Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Brahma Tour Adventures. Today I am taking you to one of the very important places of Northeast India, that is Assam, Rajiv Gandhi Oran National Park, which is uh, 110 kilometers away from Gohati. We are now landing at Lokapuri Gopinath Bharatulai International Airport in Guwahati. Yes, our aircraft is now touching down. It is landing very shortly. As we can see, the good view of the airport. Yes, we have already reached Rajiv Gandhi Horam National Park, which is 110 km. Yeah, we are from Gohati on the way to Tezpur. Yes, we are already in the national park that is uh, the forest area. Some uh, 80 square kilometer area. We are uh, six members. We tourists uh, are four. And uh, driver and one forest guard. The government also has accompanying us. We are very excited. We can see how excited we are to have uh, opportunity to visit this national park. It is reserved for the one born rhinoceros and elephant. We are in the orphan jeep safari. We are not allowed to get down from the jeep as it is very risky that wild animal may enter at any time. That is the green vast forest area. We can see in every side there are greens and greens. That's a fresh year as you're enjoying. And we are the part batch uh, of the tourists to come to this national park in this season because only the few days back this park has been open for the tourists. We are hopeful that we will have an opportunity to spot so many rare wild animals, including elephants, one horned rhinoceros. Tiger, leopard, and all kind of reptiles. The pythons is one of the very commonly being spotted in this area. And there are so many valuable reptiles also like turtle, tortoise, and uh, lizard monitors, all kinds of monkeys all kinds of deers. Friend, we have already in the deep forest area, we can see every side there is a green vegetation are there. These are the roads that are being used by the forest official to monitors if there are any hunters has entered in this forest area to hunt the very expensive wild animals like the horns of the rhinoceros. These are the vast green areas that is the Green areas where the wild animals graze there, like elephant and rhinoceros. See how wonderful, very beautiful, and very hypnotic view we can see. Yeah, that is all these green vast areas are the place where the wild animals are mostly spotted. 
or tigers and leopards hides in such a dense forest to hunt antelope, rabbit, and all kinds of animals here. So we are very excited. There are two kids are also accompanying us. One is nine years, another is 12 years old. And we are very excited to go deep inside the forest reserve on our offensive safari. See how awesome view of this road is. We can hardly see any human being inside a park. Only few forest officials can be seen in the forest bungalows there. As uh, there is a lot of grass are there, so there is less chance of being spotted in the tiger or leopards, chibats, and all kinds of lizards. Here there is the dead rivers on the left side where the wild animals drink waters from there. We can see so many deers on the other side of this river who are taking grass like the green water hyacinth and all kinds of green grasses and that is uh, the forest bungalow that the old forest bungalow being used by the forest official here yeah that is the dead river another side of this river we can spot so many deers taking grass on the other side of this river So awesome experience, so we were enjoying in every village as it is a fresh year and very cool. Mm. Very unadulterated natural beauty we can see. We smell the various, very good kind of aroma of the with the bridge which we cannot explain see how ocean was beautiful flat cities in every side so fertile lands all these for the series is reserved for the rear wild animals and it's a national park Christian in the name of Rajiv Gandhi, the then Prime Minister of India. And the name of this place is Orang. So it has been christened as Rajiv Gandhi Orang National Park, which is the home of one-horned rhinoceros and innumerable elephants we can spot there. Yes, friends, uh, uh, we can see how excited we are uh, going in a zip safari. Hopefully, we will have an opportunity to spot some reared wild animals there. See how vast green areas where the wild animals graze in there. We can see so awesome, wonderful. We can see so many kinds of grass, deer, uh, the locally grown grasses and shrubs. We can also see the patches where normally the borrowed people used to make the roof of their heart 
which has been replaced by tin nowadays. Yeah, that is another dead river on the left side. The river from where the wild animals drink water from there. We have been reported that the wild animals can be spotted only all this grass uh, get dried up and being burned and when the new grass is come up after few months as we are the parts patch of the tourist and the grasses are there still so there is a less sounds to sports the tigers or leopards though we may have the sounds to sport the elephant and rhinoceros and antelopes so awesome see you all these are very enjoyable to see how vast green areas is this and our roads goes through these green areas where we care for eyes often mostly so that we will not miss any kind of animals being spotted. Here we can see there is a one watchtower there. Hope that we will see wild animals from above there. Wow, so wonderful. Let's ask. Yes, ultimately we have uh, spotted one rhino hyros. Rhinoceros near. Yes, that is a wild rhinoceros, which is grazing grass near on the river, dead river, and we can see lots of herons sitting on the back of rhinoceros. That is the wild rhinoceros. Ultimately, we have seen. One rhinoceros grazing over there. Wow, what the vast grass area it is. Our view cannot reach out, reach to the margins of this grass area. That is the green grass areas where the wild animals graze there. So uh, what an awesome moment it is that we are enjoying thoroughly climbing up there in the watchtower. See Sanika is pointing towards the rhinoceros. There is grazing over here and she is very excited to have spotted the wild rhinoceros over there. Yeah, that is a uh, very rare antelope. We can spot there three antelopes are grazing. Wonderful. Enjoy thoroughly.